Welcome back, Hive Mind. This is Shalazar with Hive Mind Gaming coming at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. All right, so we've got a couple of things to go over here today. Uh, we've got a new fusion coming out this coming Monday. His name is Oh Pardon Clan Father. He is going to be a magic champion from the barbarian faction uh, because you know we don't have enough magic champions out there but he looks really cool i dig the double uh the dual wielding war hammers kind of badass but you know we know polarium does pretty well on when it comes to the aesthetics of the game all right let's check out his kit his a1 paired hammers attacks one enemy two times each hit has a 50% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 5% and a 50% chance of filling this champion's turn meter by 5%. Yeah, who cares? Uh, 5%'s nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I mean, he's got a two hitter, so maybe a Fire Knight champion. Let's see what his A2 looks like. Rally the tribe, attacks all enemies. Okay, an AoE, that's good. Heals all allies by 10% of this champion's max HP. He is going to be an HP champ. Uh, heals all allies under continuous heal buffs by 15% instead. So it's 10% of this champion's max HP, but if they're under a continuous heal buff, it's 15%. Hmm, okay. Uh, that could possibly be a really big heal. It's on a four turn cooldown, probably books down to a three. His A3 clan mentor removes all block buffs and heal reduction debuffs from all allies. Eh. Don't see a lot of heal reduction. Block buffs is really good. Um,. I'm not sure where you're going to see a lot of that, but uh, let's see. Then places two 15% continuous heal buffs on all allies for two turns. Also has a 75% chance of removing one random debuff from all out. Okay. All right. So he's basically really, okay. There's a lot of champions out there that, that removes a random debuff from an ally, but also removes this specific buff so he's just like that okay that makes a little more sense um yeah because block buffs is kind of rare heal reduction kind of rare but if they have one of those debuffs then it gets an additional debuff removed then removes a random okay cool I i'm down with that but the two continuous heal buffs that's really good that's on a four turn four turn cooldown that books down to it probably books down to a three we don't know what the books look like yet uh and then is a four which is his passive paternal each time a continuous heal buff heals an ally fills that ally's turn meter by five percent if there are multiple champions in the team with this skill only one will activate so i guess my question is if you pair him with someone like uh, Bad L or uh, I forget the other one's name that throws up a bunch of continuous heals. Is this going to proc for all of those? Because if someone has four continuous heals on, does that mean that's going to be 20% or 40% to the turn meter of your ally? I mean, that seems pretty good but it also means that you're throwing up another person to have to make this guy work better i don't know and then on top of that he's got the turn meter manipulation up here for only five percent which is shit absolute crap and it's the only thing that, that that's going to require accuracy so why would you even book this guy with that or put uh, build this guy with accuracy because his A1 is total crap, but he may be a really good healer and he may hit hard. Who knows? I mean, this is a AOE attack. I don't know. 
I guess we'll have to see him in play. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. So there's one other thing that I wanted to go over real quick. It is the rebalance teaser. I don't know if you could really call it a rebalance teaser, but three champions are going to get a little touch up, which is not a lot, but it is something that we've been asking for ever since Doom Tower came out. I don't know if we've been asking for it. I know I've been asking for it. The Rotus, the Lost Groom, and Skull Lord Volgar Vargal uh, are both being able to attack bosses with their max HP, uh, decrease max HP abilities, uh, which is highly important for Scarab King. It should have always been that way. They should have made this change as soon as the Doom Tower came out and we had to deal with that Scarab King. At this point, people have come up with a thousand and one ways to beat the Scare King, or at least deal with the Scare King. So the fact that they're doing this now means nothing. Um, I mean, it, uh, I shouldn't say it means nothing. It It's still helpful, but just barely. It's something that should have been done from the very beginning. Blood Gorge getting his base speed increased to 98 still pretty good but still not sure if that's something that's gonna make me want to play him let's go check him out right now blood gorged i've got a couple of these guys his current base speed is 90 so that's gonna be boosted up to 98 i mean he's still i mean he's got a pretty good kit don't get me wrong i mean he's he, this this ability right here puts one of each target skills on cooldown. But it's only one skill that he puts on cooldown. I, yeah, I don't know. And this one hits really hard, though. This hits really hard. Will ignore defense. It's It attacks one enemy, ignores defense, and blocks revive when it kills something so i don't know he he could be good in in ice golem because of the block revive but i i don't know if it's enough to make me care to build him when i've got other champs that do what he does better now when it comes to rotus rotos so I believe it's this ability. Let's see, his Vitality Plunder attacks one enemy, decreases the target's max HP by 20%, then adds that HP to this champion's own max HP. Uh, cannot decrease a single champion's max HP by more than 60% in one battle. Cannot increase this champion's max HP by more than 6,000 does not decrease box max, boss's max HP. This champion's max HP will be increased by 15,000 when this skill is used against bosses. So he still gets the uh, max, uh, max HP increase, but cannot affect bosses, which has always been, always been bad. So basically what the, what the uh, change is gonna be he attacks one enemy, decreases the target's max HP by 20%, then adds the HP to his max HP. His own max HP cannot decrease a single max HP by 60%. Cannot, uh, cannot increase this champion's max HP by more than 60, so all that's the same. Decreases the max HP of bosses by 30% of the damage inflicted instead. So it's 10% more than what he would do to a normal champion. This champion's max HP will increase by 15%. So, yeah, I mean, that's not bad. That's not horrible. Um, it's just too late. I mean, most people have... Most people that have Rotos is not going to be using them for Scarab King when because they probably have a... A Varg uh, or a uh, Vargas, who's a who's an epic, um, 
that can solo the Scarab King, so... I don't know. It, it just... It, it's just not an... It's not enough, Polarium. It's not enough. But, hey, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a real quick video to let you know that the that the fusion's coming out this coming Monday, so get get your stuff ready. Uh, hopefully, you've got some resources saved up, and you knew it was coming because you know it's the next month. They they do one of these every single month, so uh, save up your resources, get your food ready, and um, I don't know if this guy's gonna be worth it. He might be a pretty good healer, so. I don't know. This may be one you may want to pass on. I don't know. It's up to you. It's really up to you what your account looks like because he's not going to be in game viable, but he might he might be good for progression. Uh, he'll definitely be good in Faction Wars. I mean, almost all legendaries are good in Faction Wars. So, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you like what you've seen and you want to see more, hit the like button and join the hive by hitting the subscribe button. We'll see you all next time. Bye bye.